of faith. Most times people pray, but they don't have faith in the prayers. A young man testified this past Sunday in church here. He said he has been praying a particular prayer and no resolve. He kept praying, no resolve. And God said to him, go and read the book, How Faith Works. He said, after he read the book, How Faith Works, the book I wrote, he said the same prayer as he prayed it once. They were owing him for long. And just that once, he read the prayer, he read the book, he prayed it, he got answer. Because this time, he injected faith into the prayer. Most of us were praying, but no faith in the prayers. Faith is very important. Faith is very what? Important in prayers. Because in Matthew, sorry, in Mark chapter 11, 24, he said, therefore I say unto you, what things ever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall what? Have them. So you believe that you have received before you have it. Without faith, no prayer can be answered. Without faith, no prayer can be what? No, it's not enough to pray prayer. You have faith. Because in James chapter 1, 6 and 7, 6 to 7, he said, let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If, will God answer me? Will he not answer me? You have destroyed your prayer. God, I know you are faithful. This is your word. You must answer. So I hear. Do you know the second hindrance? Hmm? To importunity prayer? Unforgiveness. On what? I know that very well. Unforgiveness. <laughs> Mark 11. Look at 25, 26. We read 24 just now for time's sake. Go at 25. And when you stand praying, forgive. Do what? If you have off against any. That your father which is in heaven may forgive your trespasses. If you do not forgive, neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. If I never forgive that man, my God will answer my prayer. Hello? Hey, wait. Now, listen. Somebody locked against you. You know, it's easy to share a testimony. If you're in my position, you will know whether you know Bible. As a young man, you're a bachelor, somebody in Lagos, where you don't know anybody, locked against you. Wouldn't you say, thank God, he too has entered my trap. <laughs> and he came with the same problem at a time when I have all opportunities to revenge. <laughs> I know more than that. As a Satan, you're stupid. You want to test me to see whether I will revenge. Why must it be me that he will come back to? He took all his pride died before he came home. People told him, he said, you know this man truly? And you're suffering here? Go and see him. They, someone told me that for two years they've been telling him. He said, no, I'll never go to him. When the landlord gave him, that week was the last week. The landlord said, either you pay this week or you move out of his house. Either David will be home here or no way. When he came, he beat around the bush, beat around the bush, beat around the bush, beat around the bush, beat around the bush. I said, bro, what is the matter now? Beat around the bush. I said, what is it? I knew what was going the whole I was, I was already, very, I said, bro, what is it? He said, um, as it is now. He said, look, I need no less than 40 million to be able to come out of my crisis. And I said, Holy Spirit, what are you saying? He said, give him this amount. I know, to tell it was God, that same week, within that period of me, I had an open heaven. But if I didn't forgive him, even if I come on the altar and say, God says, somebody came, now you revenge. <laughs> Learn to forgive people. Hmm? Learn to do what? Somebody has done something, so I will pay back. This is my point, I will pay back. <laughs> this young man, we say, will not marry me. Now, he needs my assistance. Thank God, though. I will show him pepper. <laughs> the pepper, you may be the one that he may enter your eyes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't show him pepper. Show him, give him salt in his food. <laughs> Don't show him pepper. Praise the Lord. You understood? Glory to the Lamb of God. So, opportunity is not an act of unbelief. But a proof of persistent, steadfast, and prevailing faith in prayer. May the Lord perfect all that concerns you. Amen. Rise to your feet for time's sake. Whew, I'm going to do practicals with you now. 
Amen. You know what you do? This season, next week, you know we are fasting next week. When you come to church, but you on your own, pray heavily in the night. Are you hearing me now? On your own, because next week, our fasting is changing. It's not like before. We are changing the pattern. Each day is for a topic. Each day for a topic. Each day for a topic. Businessmen and career men, one day. Singles to get married and medical job, one day. Family deliverance and family blessing, one day. Um, youth, special rally for youth, one day. So each day is set aside for something. And they will pray them out. Are you going to say that? In addition to the general ones. But this time, the five days are set. Then Saturday, we go for evangelism. Sunday, we come and praise God. It's different. It's a new pattern. This year, things must change. Now you are going to... Why people cannot pray? You know why? You are going to pray. In Luke chapter 18, I want to give you prayer points. Luke 18 verse 1. He said, and he spoke a parable to them. To this end, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Not to what? The reason many cannot pray till something happens is because they faint. They can watch film for three hours. They can watch home video for four hours. But woman, the open mouth to pray five minutes. Almighty God. Oh, Almighty God. <laughs> this sleep now. Wow. <laughs> Whatever makes me faint in prayer, I come against you with the blood of Jesus. That's the first prayer point. Whatever makes me faint in prayer, I come against you with the blood of Jesus. I can't be getting weak as a Christian. He said, can't you tarry for one hour? So the least every Christian should be able to stand is one hour. Jesus said, can't you tarry? So if a Christian cannot pray for one hour, he's not yet a Christian. He said, can't you? Jesus' recommendation is that one hour. So every believer should be able to pray for one hour. Then you know you're not a child of God. Lord, whatever makes me weak in prayer, I come against you. You seriously, with the blood of Jesus, that spirit of weakness, I bind you and I cast you out of my life. Lift your voice and pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. He said, The Holy Spirit helped our infirmities. Romans 8 26, the A path. 
He helped our what? Infirmity he helps our weaknesses. And in Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10, he said, Zechariah 12, verse 10, combining the two scriptures, and I'll pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Joseph the spirit of grace and supplications. There's a spirit called spirit of what? Where you pray, you don't get tired. It is called the spirit of grace and so You are going to pray this with Holy Spirit. From today, endure me with the spirit of grace and so I don't want to be weak anymore. Help everything that makes me get tired. Empower me supernatural. You can stand like this. You know that this is not your strength. This is supernatural strength. Holy Spirit of God, be my helper from this moment. That from today, I will no longer be weak. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Holy Spirit, be my helper. Holy Spirit, be my helper. Faith in my enemy. Ask for the spirit of grace and supplication to come upon you. Ask for the spirit of grace and supplication to come upon you in the name of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth and pray. You pray. You pray. 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 You pray. Spirit of grace and supplication, come upon me. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now for time's sake, but I'll take the next three minutes. Around the time I went on to the next service. You're going to take the next three minutes. Look at your life. Take one issue. So you can be practical. Take one. Take one issue of your life. And within the next three minutes, address it. Just like Jacob, I say, this area, if you don't have any issue, say, Lord, I can't remain at this level. Bless me. I want your hand to come mighty upon me with the blessing. I want to receive the blessing. He said, the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. Not your job. The blessing of the Lord. What makes rich is not your work. What makes rich is not your country. What makes it is the blessing. Proverbs 10, 22. The blessing of the Lord it make it rich. <laughs> and it added no slow within. What makes somebody rich? It is not your work, please. I've seen oil company workers who are broke. If it's oil company, oil, oil, oil industry is already crashing. So what will you depend on? It is the blessing of the Lord. Lord, let the blessing come upon me. All that Jacob prayed was what? He said, God bless me. What changed my life is what? The blessing. What changed Jacob's life? The blessing. What made Joseph? The blessing. What made Jesus? The blessing. In case you don't know anything to pray, if you have a peculiarity, you can ask for it. The next three minutes, seriously address that issue. Address it as if there's no other thing like that. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Put your mouth and pray.
Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Tell him thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch for your hands towards the communion. You pray that as you partake of his flesh and blood today. That Jesus could stand to pray without getting weak. He stood in prayers to a point the Bible said his sweat was like blood. Lord, I want that same impartation. As I partake of your flesh and blood, your very nature to stand strong in prayer, come inside of me. That nothing makes me weak from today. Whatever is in you, let it be in me. Whatever is not in you, let it not be in me. In Jesus, there was no weakness. He could pray. He could walk to a point. The Bible said the sweat was like blood. Lord, I want that same grace to come inside me as I partake of your very nature. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. As I partake of your flesh, let the same power, same nature be imparted. Let weakness be destroyed. Let everything that is not in you never be in me. But your very nature be imparted into me. A suri braka toke breke kitala katari. I receive your nature. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Every form of, I'm getting strong, whatever is an infection in anyone's body. As you take this flesh and blood, that demonic infection is destroyed in the name of Jesus. This flesh and blood is a flesh and blood of liberty. Everyone held down by the enemy. As this flesh and blood enters your mouth, you are free in the name of Jesus. Anyone marked out for dead with any terminal disease, as you take up this life of Jesus, I command HIV, sickle cell, leukemia, name it, anywhere in the world. You're watching this service. I command right now, be free in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Diabetes inclusive. And I declare, anywhere Satan has damaged any organ in you, as this flesh and blood comes in you, that organ is repacked and replaced. Of Jesus, but I stand the same blood. Anyone who is trying to tamper with anyone's blood, this blood become offensive in the name of Jesus. It's a blood of deliverance, but to destroy anyone who has any negative act of witchcraft and wizardry in the name of Jesus. Any child that is being initiated as they take of his flesh and blood, I lose them in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Let the people of God say Amen. two things quickly. If you are not born again, you must be born again. The prayer of a sinner is an abomination to God. You cannot say you want to call on our Father when you don't have a relationship with Him. He's the God of all, more than the Father of all. All those who are not born again, lift your right hand and I pray for you. You cannot pray to him until he is your father. He's our father which art in heaven. He's not your father. He's the God of all. He's only your father when you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior. All those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, give your life to Jesus. Pray this simple prayer all over the world after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Now with my mouth I confess you. Thank you Father for saving me. In Jesus name. Now if you pray that prayer please. When others sit and one minute keep standing just for one minute. Somebody will come down to attend to you. We we'll take offering and then communion together. Give thanks to God wherever you are. Praise God. 
say, for God so loved, he gave. Love made him to give Jesus. So it's time to package an offering to demonstrate our love for the Almighty God. If you love him, you package an offering, qualitative offering. Don't give trash. Online worshippers, remember to worship God with your offering. That your worship is not complete until you give him your offering. Lift your offering and appreciate God. Thank you from the depth of your heart. Say, for God so loved. Lord, I'm giving you this money as a token of my love. Accept it and bless us in Jesus' name. North. Members are advised to contact the office. Yes, uh, we have said you should get properties, but let us know at least in the office the kind of property you want to get for the church so you can get something that will suit the purpose of the church. Some people spend so much money, but they get the properties at locations where you have to do extra work. Are you going to have seen now? So let, let us know where you're getting the property and the kind of property you're getting. Praise God. I used my office to give members so you can have knowledge. If you don't take advantage of it, it's an indication you don't want to grow. All our old messages, I told them 
to sell them off at the price they produce them. Not minding profit. So for all messages that they are supposed to sell you, they used to sell you for, where is the paper writing? They used to go for 500 naira. The one that is MP3, that used to go for 500 naira. Now I told them to give it to you at 200 naira. And the DVD that used to go for single digs, that used to go for 700, I think now is um, 350. And the one that used to go for 1,400, the double digs, goes for 700. So, and it will last for one month. After one month, they come back. It's not forever. So, if I were you, you wouldn't believe that 50,000 can buy you tapes you never believe. 10,000 will buy you a thing that is one box you're carrying. And 10,000, 1,000 will buy you now how many? 200, 200, 200, 1,000 has bought you five. Which before is only how many? Not two, or not up to two because it was uh, 700 or so, 500 or whatever. Are you what I'm saying now? So, this is time to invest in knowledge. I don't play music when I'm sleeping. I play message. Just buy every message one day you need it. <laughs> because the ones you have produced now, even if you go back, they won't produce for you. So go there and say, give me all the messages. All. One day you will need to hear it back. Are you going to say now? So buy all. Just buy. As your money keeps coming, invest. Invest. Stop playing nonsense in the night. Play MP3 to sleep. So when you're sleeping, your spirit will pick the message. Amen? I use my office to do that, so take advantage of it beginning from today. It will last for one month. After one month, back to old price. Sunday is enjoying continuous victory. <laughs> enjoying continuous victory. In the second service, I pray for success in academics, and then fifth service, business and career open doors. Amen? Come with a point of contact. Praise the Lord. And remember, so winning is a continuous tax. It's not once and for all. If today is your first time of coming, could you stand up? This is your first time. God bless you. God bless you. This is your first time. You're welcome to Salvation. This is the home of success. They will give you a small pamphlet. Fill it and give it back to them. We love you. You're welcome to this congregation. May the Lord, whom you have come to seek, change your story forever. In the name of Jesus. Those around us, stretch from your hands and tell them we celebrate you. Take them outside, ushers, and attend to them. Make sure you come for Sunday service. Please. Could you stand up? So at the next prayer, daily as we are going, say open prayer. Just say praise the Lord. Stand up, let's close. We have only one minute. We did that one minute, say praise the Lord. Amen. Are you blessed today? Don't miss Sunday. Make sure Sunday you come with somebody. You come with the same person you invited before. Go and invite the person. Go and invite the same to come on Sunday. These ones you brought for Five Nights of Glory, the ones you brought for Biasa Crusade, go back to them and let them come. As many as you invited, let them come. Lift your hands. Go! And the strength you have received today shall keep you going. You will never faint again in prayers. Every prayer you pray will come forth with an answer. As you place demand on heaven, may your answers come speedily. In the name of Jesus. This weekend shall be a weekend of revelations. Peace as you go. In Jesus' mighty name. The grace together with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord. Forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. All churches start next service in two minutes from now. He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us a victory. That's why we'll sing. Oh, oh say yeah. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given us a victory. That's why we we'll
all the glory and praise. We exalt you, we magnify you. We thank you, Lord, because you're an unchangeable changer. We give you all the glory and praise. Blessed be your mighty Lord. In Jesus' precious name. This session will be praying for the Church of God's salvation ministries. In Hebrews 2 and verse 4, it said, God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and the gift of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. You appreciate the Holy Spirit for manifesting himself with miracles, signs, wonders, and diverse gifts of the Holy Spirit during the five minutes of glory 2017 and the Biosan Miracle Crusade of Salvation Ministry. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we appreciate appreciate your holy name. We thank you for all you did in the five minutes of glory 2017 of Salvation Ministries. We thank you for your mighty words. We give you all the glory. He said no man can do these things except the Lord be with him. Lord, we thank you for your presence at work in the Bias of Miracle Crusade. For all you did, for the testimonies, for the signs, for the wonders, for the mammoth crowd you put. Lord, we thank you for the transformation. We thank you. We give you all the glory and praise. Blessed be your name, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. Colossians 2 and verse 14. Bloody hand, the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us and took it out of the way, laying it to his core. Now you will call the tongue of the devil and every tongue that speaks lies and use the blood of Jesus to blot out every lie spoken and plant in the heart of men against salvation ministries in order to tarnish the image of the church so as to limit the numerical growth. This is not beyond. Pray just mighty name. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the devil, it is written. He said, I will build my church and the king of hell shall not prevail. It's the bloody hand and the of the ordinances which are against salvation of ministries. He took out of the way, nailing to the cross, every lie, every tongue of the agent of the devil, Satan has placed, or into the place to carry lies, to spread rumors against salvation of ministries, to black me heart, to hinder the growth, to hinder and make a growth. Now and beyond, we come against the devil. He said that the lying lips be put to silence. We speak grievously and contentiously against salvation of ministries. Every tongue, it's every tongue that I guess I'm going that's a content. We contest every tongue of Satan, internal agents, external agents. We cause them in the name of the sky and Jesus cause the victory and it with us. We cause the tongue of the agents, we cause them their rules. We command such lies to be destroyed and we decree glorious things shall be spoken about salvation of ministry. This is not beyond. Wherever we are far, only glorious things shall be heard about salvation of ministry in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Revelation 12 and verse 11. He said, they overcame me by the blood of the Lamb. Psalm 72 and verse 8. He shall have dominion over from sea to sea and from the river all to the ends of the earth. You are the blood of Jesus. You will pray to destroy every gate of hell resisting the advancement and numerical growth of salvation ministry. Decree that the gate of city states provinces and nations all over the world should be continually open to service of ministry for the establishment of network of churches. Pray just mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, he said lift up your head oh you can't be lifted up you everlasting talk is the one down oh mountain that will become a place every gate of nation every gate of city that want to resist the global entrance of service of ministry we come against them by the Lord of Jesus, our gates shall be open continually. It shall not be so. Every gate I will build service of ministry, and the gate of hell will not prevail. Every gate of Satan to hinder the gospel out of service of ministry. Our satellite churches will bind the devil. The blood of Jesus is against you, and we decree the gates of nations, of cities, of cities, of nations will be open for service of ministry. It shall not be so. They not lie. Nathan will seek salvation ministries to be planted in death in the name of Jesus Christ. You in the Arab world at the point of contact who will gain entrance in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Finally, in Micah 4 and verse 1, he said, But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain salvation ministries shall be established at the top of the mountain. It shall be exalted above every other city. It's that all people shall flow unto it. Now you decree that multitude to flow into the February edition of the World of Life Bible Institute that is Wobi and the impact on the Bible school to reflect in the overall growth of service of ministry, headquarters, and our satellite churches. 
Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, it that will make of thee an eternal elephant, a door of many generations. Lord, we ask that multitudes of people will flow into salvation ministry. Holy Spirit of God, straight up the heart of men to locate the favorite edition of the Word of Life Bible Institute that will compare great multitudes in the headquarters of the church and light churches. Holy Spirit of God, and let the impact be first globally that will cause their testimonies to be lasting, their transformation to be lasting. In the name of the sky, let the impact be felt all over the world. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. God has said, I'll leave you over. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' most precious name. Next session, we'll be praying for God's servant, David, if you may, and family. The Bible is speaking in the book of Acts chapter 19 and verse 11. Say, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. We'll appreciate the Holy Spirit for the special miracles he wrought through the hands of David, if you may, in the just concluded five nights of glory and the biased miracle crusade. Shall we lift our voice and appreciate him? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory and praise for the special miracle that you wrought through your servant, David, if you may, in the just concluded five nights of glory and the bad side miracle say Lord we thank you, we give you all the glory for using your servant mightly for confirming every word with notable miracles for your supernatural strength and wisdom upon his life, Father we say thank you for using your servant mightly we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we appreciate you blessed be your name forever in the precious name of Jesus Christ in Jesus most precious name in Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, they blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. In Luke chapter 21 and verse 13, say, It shall turn to you for a testimony. Will cause every lying tongue that intends to speak lies against David if you may, in order to dent his image and personality as a result of what God did through him during the five nights of great 17. Will blot out every negative word that have uttered against him and command every lie spoken against him to turn to his own favor. Lift your voice, pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written. Is it our frustrated that totals of liars and make it divine and smart? Every lying tongue against David in the Ome to then his email and personality as a result of what God used him to do in the five night of glory and the Bible Samuel could say we command such tongue to be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ. We blot out every tongue of the devil from the pit of hell against David in the Ome. We command such tongue to be condemned in the name of Every tongue that want to tarnish his image, that want to paint it in a bad light before the people will come out. Such tongue be destroyed, and every lie that has been told against him will come out. Such lie be blotted out by the blood of Jesus Christ. We decree it will turn for his favor in the name of Christ. He said, He thought it evil against me, but the Lord meant it for good unto me. We decree every lie they have told will turn to his own testimony and to his own good in the name of Christ, it will spread him abroad in the name of Christ, it will cause his fear to spread abroad in the name of Jesus, in Jesus precious name in Psalms of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 7 a it said many waters cannot quench love neither can the flood drown it we we'll pray that everyone who comes in contact with the materials and messages from david e. biome should fall in love with him thereby leading to a new order of church growth lift your voice and pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ it is written it said many waters cannot quench love neither can the flood drown it lord we declare and declare that everyone that will come in contact with the materials and messages from your servant david e. biome should fall in Lord with him, thereby leading to a new order of church growth in the precious name of Christ. Anyone that will come in contact through his books, he said, whether live or online, we declare and declare that they will all fall in love with your servant, David, if you may. In St. Jonathan, love David as his own soul. Oh God of heaven, that will love your servant as they hear him, as they listen to his messages, as they read his books, they will fall in love with him in the name of Christ and it will lead to the order or church growth in salvation in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus precious name 
Finally, in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 6, it said, The husband man that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Oh, pray that David, the man, and his entire soul should be the first partaker of the blessing from the five nights of glory and the bias Samuel could say, Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, it is written, it said, The husband man that laboreth must be the first partaker of the fruit. Lord, we declare and declare that your servant. David if you may and the entire soul shall be the first partaker of all the blessing from the five night of glory and the biaser now go say instead the laborer is worthy of his wages oh God of heaven all that you did in the five night of glory biaser now go say all the blessing let it begin with your servant David if you may and the entire family in the name of Jesus Christ thank you mighty God God has said lift your voice and appreciate him In Jesus' mighty name, in this session, we'll be praying for the genuine members of Salvation Ministry and the families. In Psalm 118, verse 23, it said, This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. We are going to appreciate God for protecting, changing, transforming, and perfecting the lives, families, careers, businesses, and academics of genuine members of Salvation Ministries globally. Lift up your voice and appreciate Him. Father, we well, thank you. We appreciate you for protecting, changing, transforming, and perfecting the lives and families of genuine members globally. Father, we we'll say thank you. We appreciate you. We bless your holy name. You say you have done all things well for perfecting all that concerns every genuine member of Salvation Ministries globally, those genuinely connected to us, their businesses, their careers, their academics. Lord, we we'll say thank you. You alone are the doer. No one can post the doer of this great work. Father, we we'll say thank you. We appreciate you we bless your holy name be thou exalted mighty god in jesus most precious name in james 4 verse 7 b he said resist the devil and he shall flee from you in psalm 91 verse 7 he said a thousand shall fall by the side ten thousand at the right hand but he shall not come near thee we are going to resist satan from attacking the lives and families of every genuine member of salvation ministries with any form of evil that will corrupt the blessings that god from the five nights of glory and the Bayasa miracle crusade. And we're also going to decree that no evil shall be for them. Lift up a voice, pray in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus Christ. It is written in God's word. He said, resist the devil and he shall flee. Satan the devil. Any attempt of yours to attack the lives and families of the members globally, we take authority over in the name of Jesus. We pray the devil. We cast you out. Your works is destroyed. He said, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Any attempt of yours, whatever you position yourself to attack the new members globally, this is and beyond. We take authority over you. The blood of Jesus against you. Whatever you want to corrupt, the blessings that the new members, God, they are the five nights of glory. And the blessed of miracle could say, we take authority in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus against you. He said, we walk and we shall let it. No, no, this against you. We decree that no evil shall befall any genuine member of salvation ministry globally. He said, There shall no evil before the church. Any attempt of yours to stir up any issue of concern, we take authority over in the name of Jesus. No, no, Jesus against you. No, no, Jesus against you. Jesus' most precious name. In Ephesians 1, verse 17 and 18. He said that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. He said the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the, what the riches of his glory of the glory of his, of his inheritance in the saints. We are going to pray that God should open the eyes of every genuine member of Salvation Ministries to see the need to attend the February edition of the World of Life Bible Institute and also decree that all those who will attend should become lights to their world. Lift up a voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we ask that you open the understanding of every genuine member of Salvation Ministries that they may see the need to attend the Word of Life Bible Institute of Salvation Ministry globally. We ask that you open up the eyes of understanding. He said, you open up the eyes of understanding. Father, we ask that you open the eyes of every genuine member of Salvation Ministries. Cause them to see the need why they should attend the February edition of the World Institute, 
Open for the word of life, Bible Institute of Salvation Ministry. We ask that you open their eyes, cause them to rush in to attend in our various location globally. We also decree that as many that will attend, they will become lights to their world, they will become wonders to their world. As many that will attend, they will become wonders to their world globally. Name of Jesus Christ. Finally, in Psalm 20, verse 2 and 3, it says, Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. He said, Remember all thy offerings and accept thy bond sacrifices. We are going to pray that God should remember all those who sowed towards the five nights of glory and the Bayasam Reku crusade and pour out the blessing upon them. Lift up a voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, God remembered Noah. Lord, we ask that you remember as many that sold towards the five nights of glory and the by a could say, bless them on every side. Bless them on every side. Bless them on every side. He said, blessing, I will bless thee. As many that came to the five nights of glory and the by a could say, let your blessing be upon them. And you them with the blessing. And you them with the blessing. He said, I ask, I come up for a memorial before God. Lord, as many that came for the success of the five nights of glory that came for the success of the prayer seminar could say and you them with your blessing bless them on every side bless them on every side name of jesus christ you know that god has heard us lift up a voice and appreciate him hallelujah you may please be seated Papa said, no prophecy is fulfilled without adequate battle in prayers. Hallelujah. It's testimony time. Join me as I welcome the following persons. David Husseini, Israel Herring, Purity Prayer, Letitia Daniel, Chizim Orige, Chizim Orige, Letitia Daniel, Purity Prayer, Israel Herring, David Husseini, Studio. There will be wedding ceremony on Saturday, 18th of February, 2017 in church. Plan to attend and celebrate with them. Forms for Wolby, the Bible school of this commission for February special are on sale. Get it at the two entrances of the Headquarters Church and our satellite churches. February special we have basic certificate course at the headquarters by Yauser, Oweri, Lagos, Kalaba, Abba, Umwahia, Uyo, Ahoda, Woji, Rumapu, Abuloma, Mpolurumibo, Choba, Elimbu, Rumalumeni, Gokana, Rose Center, Rumaholu, NTA Road, Eastern Bypass, Royal Event Center, Elekbarongo, Iwofe, Okijadiob, and Rumejima Satellite Churches. Enroll and sponsor others to gain flights in life. Note, you can come to Bible school not minding if you cannot read or write. In the second service on Sunday, Papa will pray for outstanding success in academics. While in the fifth service, Papa will pray for business and career open doors. Invite souls to come with you. Prayer can change what argument cannot solve. Visit the Knowledge Center for the Commission's materials and other proven materials to be prayerful in life. You can also order online. Amongst the materials are Pray Until Something Happens, Anointing for Wonders, Understanding the Power of Prayer, Prayer That Works, Special Packs, Books and CDs on Health, Wisdom, Business, Kingdom Service, Success and many more are available at the Knowledge Center. Get it for evangelism and for your loved ones. Service group prayers holds on Friday, 3rd of February 2017 at 5 p.m. for ushering, CC2, medical units, and language units. All concerns should first before coming. Any worker who does not attend should not be allowed to officiate until they attend the next group prayers. There will be water baptism at 7 a.m. on Saturday, 4th of February 2017. Come with clothes to change too. Also, foundation class for new converts and new believers holds at 9 a.m. Special discount on the Commission's old messages. All old messages of the Commission Salvation Ministries are now available at a very reduced price. MP3 goes for 200 naira. DVD single disc goes for 350 naira. 
Double disc goes for 700 naira. Get them at the Knowledge Center for Evangelism and for your loved ones. Satellite Church opening forms are available with the ushers and at the special care stand. Fill and submit to your branch pastor or at the reception for those at the headquarters. Ensure you are part of Vision One Man, One Soul. Hallelujah. Your name and testimony. Uh, my name is David Hosseini. Early this morning, as at 3 a.m., I started having a very serious chest pain. And uh, I remember there is the oil from last Sunday anointing service. And I applied it. Behold, the pains just gone. Hallelujah. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. Lady Shah, Daniel Oza is my name. I'm here to testify concerning healing via last Sunday service. From my childhood, I used to have pains on my joints. And when it comes, to look as if they are cutting me slowly and deeply with a knife all over my joints. And we've gone to hospitals. My parents took me to hospitals. They didn't give any medical explanation. Well, last Sunday, while the service was on, Papa said some during this service, he said there's someone here. It looks as if they're using a knife to cut you on your body. I killed him too. He said the person is healed. I received my healing. From that Sunday till now, I've not been having that kind of pain anymore. I give God the glory. Hallelujah. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm Chizzy Morige, my name. For about six months, I've been having a knife stabbing on my right side of the back chest. And each time it happened, the whole system will be paralyzed. Look as if this part of the body will be paralyzed. After much prayers, it will stop. So on Sunday during fourth service, a word of knowledge come through, Papa, that there is somebody here that normally stabbed your knife. That I, today is the end of it. And I came to give God the glory because the Lord has done it for us. Hallelujah. Return of the glory to God. He is the doer. Hallelujah. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Israel Harry. It's on my uh, testimony on financial favor. It was on last, last uh, Thursday when I declared that take this communion as you get home, you will hear good news. I said, Amen. I get home. My brother, who doesn't call me on phone? They called me and asked me if my account is still working. I said, Yes, it's working. He said, Okay. <laughs> So while I was on last, uh, last service, on fifth, uh, fifth service, my phone was ringing. I look at it, I keep it, I didn't, I didn't do anything. He now said, my testimony says, I have transferred money into your account. So I've come to return all the glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your name and testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Spirit. My testimony is on victory. Last year, September, I lost my younger sister, so I went to Abuja to bury her because she had a fatal accident. So that made me to stay in Abuja for like three weeks. After burying her myself, when I came back, lo and behold, a married lady coming under the level to come and console us has taken over my marriage. When I came, I saw her, so I told her that immediately I saw her. She has, I told her this marriage is caught. Oh. You can't just come in like this and even enter in my house. So I prayed them and scattered them. When I scattered her, I also scattered her own home. I told her your husband will leave and her husband ran away. That did not end. So she told me that because of what I have done, she gave me a date, 20th, which is my birthday of January, that I will pick in Portacot City. I will run mad. And gave me on the 14th that she will send me crossing belt, which is my marriage anniversary. That is this month. Lo and behold, after the declaration on Sunday, when I was just passing on Tuesday, a lady, her sister called me and said, Priya, what did you do to Hope? I said nothing. He said, now nah, Hope is mad that they have bundled her back to the village. Hallelujah! All that seek your soul will go down. In this service, stand to your feet and appreciate God for the testimonies. Hallelujah. To him, the doer be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Please kindly have your seat. Hallelujah. 
It's time for us to honor the Lord with our offering. Papa said that there are three keys that will guarantee your continuous prosperity in this kingdom. Fasting, prayer, and giving. It is time for us to demonstrate that. Giving is living. When you stop giving, you start to die. And I know that none of us will die in the mighty name of Jesus. In Proverbs 10.4, the Bible declares that he that, become, that becometh poor, that dealeth with a slack hand, but a diligent hand make it rich. What is that in your hand? Package your offering. Make sure it is such that will make you rich in the mighty name of Jesus. You that is worshiping online, do same. And you will never remain the same financially in Jesus' name. If you have done that, lift it up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in honor to your word, you said that the hand that gives to you diligently will be rich. Bless this offering. Bless all the kingdom investments of your children today. That in this year, 2017, we will be financially distinguished to the glory of your holy name. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Cast your offering. the King of all kings, glorify his name, celebrate his faithfulness and adore him, give him glory and praise, blessed be your name forever, we worship and adore you, we magnify your name mighty God, blessed be your name, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, this truth, lion does not give back to a pig. If you don't exemplify what this commission carries, you miss feet. There is this peculiar anointing on this commission where someone cannot threaten you. 
<laughs> there's a grace on this commission where someone cannot just come and say, I will do this to you and keep quiet. The lion does not, no way, he will never eat grass, no matter how there's no food. It should exemplify the nature of the environment. A pig coming to a threaten a lion is an anathema. It's an abuse to redemption. For someone to say, I'll make you mad, and yeah, you keep quiet, you say, the next time I'll make you, make me mad. No, you, you tell the person, you say you make me mad, I see, we'll see you. <laughs> But that's what makes you a Christian. You don't beg when it comes to the battlefield. He's a stupid man. I'll see an opponent carrying gun and he says, Sorry, sorry, I beg you. For what? You to throw your own. Press the trigger first. By the time he goes down, he will know. You can imagine David going to beg Goliath. We wouldn't have had anything like that in the Bible. If all David did was to go, Goliath, I'm sorry now. When you see any devil threatening you, bring him down. And every Goliath standing on anyone's part shall be brought down today. You should know that was a diabolical challenge. For someone to say, I'll make you mad and give you a date. You should know that is not a physical challenge. The person has got diabolical. You don't fold your hands. You too, you go godical. The person went what? Diabolical, you go. And press your own trigger. Can somebody go to a witch and then you, you just fold your hands? No, as a person enter the witch doctor's house, you enter God's house. Say it is written. He that ticket the pit shall fall. He that roll the stone, roll back to him. For no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tank I Curse that turn in the name of Jesus. That's what makes you a Christian. When you operate like that, people will next time be afraid of you. And everyone after you and I will go down this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. Father, in this service, we ask that this second service be powerful, Amen. strong, Amen. filled with glory, Amen. in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Let it carry a fresh anointing on the world Amen. to produce in our lives. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give me a big hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I you know last Thursday by this time we were in Bayasa. <laughs> last Thursday by this time we were in Bayasa. And it was humbling. There's power in unity. Everybody went one direction. What makes people to achieve is when people speak in one voice. Prayers, one direction. Singers, one direction. There was nobody who was competing. When people are in one voice, it's our path. It is for brethren to dwell together in peace and unity. Once people are together, if Christians will come together, no force in hell can challenge us. The reason is when we begin to speak with different tongues. The moment we come together as one, <laughs> no devil. That devil is not born who can, can challenge the power of unity. When Christians say no, it is no. If we say no to any issue, it will be. If we say government should stop as Christians, so that the government will stop. If we say anything on earth, heavens will confirm it. The greatest power is in the body of Christ. We don't beg issues, we command things to happen. If Christians know what we carry, we can't live like people who are miscarrying. <laughs> you are too loaded. Too. And I know that before this month is over, things will turn in our favor. 
He said, shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Whatever you give as a law and order, it will be as you say it. In the name of Jesus Christ. What you decree becomes a law in the spirit. Say, shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Whatever you say from now becomes a law. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. When he say go, it will be so. When he say come, it will be so. When he say no way, it will be so. Went to Bayasu, where that turned. Turned as if it wants to rain. <laughs> it was an open air meeting. We looked at it when I said, You devil, come on, clear. <laughs> rain did not fall till we left Bayasu. Amen. Satan could not challenge God's authority. God was in charge. Perhaps our people saw light. The state became liberated. That it can never be the same again for Perhaps. A once neglected people are going to be stars to the world. I prayed for them from my heart. It was from, from here I prayed for Perhaps. He said they shall, they shall prosper that love thee. You don't prosper if you don't love the people. They can't produce the whole world and they'll be living the way they were living. So I poured my heart for them. Watch it. Tobiasa can never be the same. No way. Never. Are you here now? I had a strong word of knowledge. I broke a power of curse over Tobiasa that I broke. God used me to break it. Bayasa before now does not have a government that anybody from the Jog kingdom does not stay in towns, two towns. Since the history of a Jog, nobody told me. One that was missing, I had. Since a Jog people started, nobody stays in office two times. So the spiritual problem. From Jeter's beef, no second time. Any attempt for second time, the person will leave. Jeter's beef had the same problem. As if it didn't end with him, Okilo had the same problem. And let me say, I had the same problem. Silver had the same problem. Um, um, he being Prince Will had the same problem. Everybody from the job background, other judge had the same problem. Everybody, they don't go for a second time. They only go once. If they go the second time, they will not finish it. When I was minister, the Holy Ghost said to me, break it. It has been broken now. I got seen now. Silver had the same problem. Nobody from the job background has ever been in power and finished a second time. Good luck had the same problem. If I had the knowledge before good luck, I'm sure I would have survived it. <laughs> Amen. It's a, it's a spiritual problem. Whatever is that negative thing around you, anything that has been a curse around your family, any negative thing has occurred to your father, your grandfather, and is trying to occur in your life. Whatever is a negative influence, I stand in my office as a priest of the New Testament. Any negative thing that wants to repeat itself, I command with you, it has ended in the name of Jesus. Whatever is that issue, that is trying to occur again around you. In the year so break a good tabro gedia kata. Say, coca braco cote break a culia ketali jida. Process a cuca to break a tia cateli kinia dozia datori jataya. I stand and I decree anything that wants to occur that happened to your father, happened to your mother, happened to anyone in your lineage. I command with you it will not happen. I cause that issue in the name of Jesus. I decree an end to it in the name of Jesus. I come again that force in the name of Jesus. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. It is terminated in the name of Jesus. It will not happen in our lives. 
to somebody who says amen it is done your case will be different your situation will be different you it is broken in your own lineage for your sake that lineage is free in the name of jesus that case is broken you are free in the name of jesus it is done give me a big hand give jesus a big hand you may be seated slap your neighbor a high five and tell your neighbor i celebrate you praise god pray until something happens part two pray until something happens part two If you don't want to be a pre in life, then be prayerful. Every blessing of God, Satan will want to resist it. He said, for a, a great and effectual door is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. First Corinthians 16 verse 9. So for every open door, Satan wants to resist the open doors. If you are not ready to contend in battle, life will never give you what you want. He said, from the days of John, the king of heaven, and the only those who are violent, take what belongs to them by force. Satan is a brute. You can't negotiate with him. You must go to the courtroom of heaven and place a demand on heaven for what belongs to you to be released to you. He said, for the whole foundation of the earth, out of course, for they know not. For ye are gods, and of your children of the most high. So, God is saying, I have given you authority. Go to me in prayer and put me in remembrance that you'll be justified. In Isaiah 43, verse 26, he said, Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare that I may be justified. God said, yes, it is yours, but put me in remembrance. Remind me of my word so that I can be committed to make it happen in your life. God said, yes, it's yours, but remind me of, even if you have a good case, you go to court, the lawyer has to cite relevant section to be able to say you win the case you cannot just go this case i'm the one i win it no he has to say based on section this so so this so so this and just say okay you're right because i put me in remembrance tell me of my word then i'm committed to make it happen so we have to take god's word and remind god say oh god of heaven based on your word this must happen and then you commit god's integrity to perform because it's not a man that he should lie Now hear the truth and hear me well. Every time you have an inheritance from God, Satan will contest it. In Deuteronomy 2 verse 24, the Bible said, Rise you up, take up your journey, take your journey, and pass over the river Arnold. Behold, I have given to your hands, see on the Amorite, king of Ishbon, and his land, begin to possess it. And contend with him. It's an irony. He said, possess it, but do what? Contend with him in battle. It's not talking about physical battle, it's talking about spiritual battle. Go and possess what belongs to you by standing strong in prayer. Those who faint in the days of their adversity, the Bible said their strength is small. So I refuse to faint. Say it one more time. Now, to pray until something happens is the same thing as prayer of opportunity. That is the same thing. And this kind of prayer is not a prayer of unbelief, as some may think. No. It's a proof of persistence. You are saying, I don't take a no for an answer. My faith is in the prayers. Lord, I know you have what it takes to deliver it to me. 
Therefore, I am coming to you to give it. Barriers are there spiritually. Satan is resisting you. You are saying, no, Satan, I clear you. If that woman who gave a testament at the headquarters just folded her hands, the woman would have made her mad. So Satan was trying to resist her in her own marriage. After having <laughs> children with a man, and then the woman would just come and sit down in the house and say, you go. Yeah. <laughs> she contended for her possession. She stood in prayer. It, it didn't like the woman getting mad. She just, is it language? Maybe she has gone and they say, In the gate, kako, kako, kake, This woman wants to say, Oh, mad, you'll be mad. She went in prayer, into prayer. I said, No way. You can't say that I'll be mad. Your Someone said, You'll be mad. You'll not fold your hands. A woman who can make your husband to sit to bring her hand. She knows it's not a woman. In three weeks. Do you know the kind of person you hate and they forgot you? <laughs> you must have taken one kind of person and forgot that he has his baby and <laughs> that kind of woman cannot be, they call him Akataka. They call the kind of woman what? Akataka. <laughs> For a man in three weeks will forget his wife and bring a woman. Even if the man is a rough man, men who are rough, they don't bring women to their houses. For a man to say, come inside the house and sit down, that means the man has forgotten that he has a wife. That cannot be with clear eyes. No normal man in three weeks will bring a woman to a matrimonial home. That means the man has forgotten. He has eaten one kind of pepper soup. <laughs> and forgot that he has a wife. So the wife cannot come down and be speaking English. No appeal to the man will he hear because it's a spiritual problem. She had to contend in prayer and collected what belongs to her. Shout hallelujah. Women hear this. You go on your knees, you don't call your husband. <laughs> because if she had gone to call the husband, the husband will be increased the quarrel. Because it's a spiritual problem. You go and tell the man, say, Why did you bring a woman? He, he will tell us, Okay, if you don't like you, pack your tears and get out. Because he, the man at that time has been taken over spiritually. So you don't fight a spiritual battle with physical techniques. You take a spiritual strategy to end. Uh, uh, tragedies. It takes spiritual what? Strategy to end tragedies. And every evil will end in your life. Amen. Shout a better amen. amen. Hear this truth. Don't ever get tired. Pray to something happen. I'm going to give you scriptural examples of those who prayed until something happened. In the first service, I said about one example is Jacob. Is who? Second example I said is Abraham. And third example I gave is blind Bartimaeus. Now in this second service, the fourth example of a man who prayed until something happened, his name is called Elijah. His name is called who? In 1 Kings chapter 18, this is the kind of prayer we're talking about. This is the kind of prayer you should pray. <laughs> in 1 Kings 18, 41 down. Let's read. And Elijah said unto Ahab, <laughs> Get thee up, eat and drink. You will be marrying me, I want to pray. He said, you go and be drinking, be married, but me, I want to... For there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. People who always marry without prayer, they don't go far. Elijah went up to the top of, Mount Cam uh, top of Camel and he cast himself down. This man Camel, during one of the pilgrimage we had at Mount Camel, where Elijah prayed. We are privileged to be there. They showed where, the place where Elijah prayed. Up. And he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. <laughs> that cannot be vegetable prayer. And said to his servant, listen, oh, go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. <laughs> That's after he has prayed first, nothing. So I said, I beg, it's okay. I'm tired. And he said, go again. How many times? Seven times. Some people, after five times, just many two, they gave up. When 
five, just two more prayers. Boom, they'll penetrate. Sir, I beg, I'm tired. No. It is not for you to say that you are faithless. It's you are saying, Lord, I'm not taking a no for answer. It's not weakness in prayer. Oh God, hear me now. You know, even in the natural, there's a way a wall will be thick. You take a sledgehammer. The first hit, it may not penetrate. Boom, to get a crack. Crap. You take it. Boom. It will tap. You take it. Boom. You see the thing cracking. And you find out that just one more hit, it will break. If you stop at that time, you have not penetrated. So you will hit till you break it with it. And hammer is in degrees. They call hammer, they can have sledgehammer. They have hammer. They have what? The weight of them are not the same. Old. When they carry sledgehammer, boom. Now, Elijah, and it came to pass at the seventh time <laughs> that he said, Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's head. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab. Seven times Elijah prayed, Oh God, rain must fall. This rain must fall. Servant, go and look. He said, nothing. God, you said in your word what I command must happen. It is written. Rain, fall. He said, go again. He said, nothing. He said, rain, I said to you, it is written. He prayed how many times? Several times. From this day, as you refuse to give up, your answer will be delivered to you. That is what we call pray until something happened. He prayed seven times. In every issue of your life, don't give up. Pray until something what? Don't give up. Easily. Sometimes the first day you pray, you may not see any sign. Doesn't mean that the spirit does not happen. Something has happened in the spirit. You are pushing. So that's happened. You push it. So that happened. Then at the time come. Let me tell you something. We prayed for church growth in this church. Prayed. 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 It's as if nothing was happening. Prayed. It's as if nothing was happening. Prayed. It's as if nothing was happening. Then one, I can never forget, was it 2002 or so? 2002 or 2003. We came for on 31st night. 2002. 2002. 31st night, breaking 2003. As we appeared for the all night, 31st night, I will never forget. 31st night, breaking first, that's 31st night service, crossover service. It's as if they open tap. All our neighbors, before then, our neighbors were not coming to church. But we are praying, we are praying. Then that night, it's as if they say, on their mass, get set, go. People, we came by 10 30. If you see sea of heads, that was not the day the prayer was answered. It nothing showed from 1999 to 2003. But prayers were hitting. Boom. Boom. You can imagine us giving up after a while. We would have known that something was happening in the spirit. We go, Church was full from that time began to grow. Why will you give up easily? You prayed once. And I said, yeah, I've tried though. No, don't give up. Don't what? Don't give up. Pray to something. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You know what God said? In James chapter 5, God made a statement. Reading from 16b to 18. He said, the effectual prayer of a righteous man availed much. I want to put the amplified. I like the amplified version of it. He said, the endless heartfelt continued. Did you hear continued? This is a temporary. Do you see the B part? The endless heartfelt continued prayer, not sometimes continued prayer, of a righteous man make a tremendous power, available, dynamic in his work and prayer that, just, that, that look at, go to the next verse he said we, Elijah was a human being with a nature just as we have 
So pray like Elijah. This is Bible telling you. With Philip's affection and constitution like ours. And he prayed earnestly for it not to rain. And no rain fell on the earth for three or six months. Up to 18. And he prayed and then he prayed again. And the heaven supplied rain. And the lamb produces crops as usual. Where we read in First Kings chapter 18. He said just like Elijah. Don't give up after one time. So I hear. That you prayed once does not mean you give up. So I refuse to give up. Say it one more time. Shout hallelujah. Now look at another example of the man Elisha. Elisha was also that time. When he raised the dead son of the Shunammite woman. In 2 Kings chapter 4, 32 to 36. And when Elisha was come into the house, behold, the child was dead. Did you hear that? And laid upon his bed. He went in therefore and shut the door upon them twin. And prayed unto the Lord. And he went up. And lay upon the child. And put his mouth upon his mouth. And his eyes upon his eyes. And his hands upon his hands. And he spread himself upon the child. And the flesh of the child waxed warm. And he returned. And walked. Take note of that place. And he walked in the house. Toe and fro. He was moving. That means it was not once. And went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sees seven and child open up. He said, He was moving. Look at verse 36. And he said, And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite. So he called her. And when she was come to, the, to him, he said, Take up thy son. Whatever has been dead around you will come back alive. <laughs> Elijah made so many movements, not just once. That is importunity. So Elijah prayed the first one. The child did not get up. He prayed again. Till the child. She. So if he had given up at one time prayer. The child would have woken up. And you get what I'm saying sir. The prayer of importunity. What we are calling. What prayer to something happens. You don't pray once and give up. Now. There's a very big mistake. People make from one scripture. And I'm going to explain it to you. There's a scripture that people used to confuse themselves when they don't pray one prayer one, twice. They say, no, very repetition. I'm going to explain that scripture. That scripture has confused many people, even preachers. Now, the Bible never said you cannot repeat prayers. It said vain reputation. Reputation. Vain what? It didn't say reputation. It said vain. That means you are just talking nonsense without meaning. But prayer can be repeated. Until it is answered. But you don't just come up, just do something because of religion. Are you going to understand what I'm saying now? There are two different things. Now, if you read Matthew 6, 7, that's where it confuses many with prayer of importunity. This is what I said. But when you pray, use not vain. This is Jesus speaking. Use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. This verse of scripture is talking about meanliness repetitions. That is speaking just to be heard. If you go to some churches, they will just write something. And then every day people will repeat the same thing. That is nonsense. So the man can be talking with you and he already, he already knows what he's talking. He just, he's, he's talking with you and he's chanting it. That is very just to be heard. Do you understand what I'm saying? That one does not produce result. But when it's coming from the inside, Lord, hear me now. Oh God, I can't stay like this. Heaven must respond. So I hear. So you don't throw in the towel because you prayed once. Shout hallelujah. The second type, which is a type of prayer, we are talking about this expression of persistence. Expression of what? That type
time was the time Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed it. Jesus prayed three times, repeating the same words. Jesus prayed how many times? He was the one that said, no very repetition. But he prayed how many times? Repeat the same word. That means he was saying, pray. He prayed to a point, the Bible said, his sweat was like blood. In Matthew 26, 43 to 44, and he came and found them asleep again. <laughs> For their eyes were heavy. You know why? Too much sleep. Too much what? Sleep. People who don't, in one of the signs of people who don't know how to pray, they sleep too much. When you know that you are weak as a Christian, it's too much sleep. Have you ever slept throughout a whole month? You didn't get up one day to pray. It's dangerous. Sleep, 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 sleep. Some people they sleep even in, before even the evening want to sleep to pray. So they don't even pray that one. They even be on the bed. Uh, just, just help me. As I'm sleeping now, in Jesus' name, is that prayer? <laughs> so if you hold pillow. I nailed down with the pillow. Then when someone knocked on the door, Friday never just Friday never. Those are pillow prayers. Pillow prayers. Pillow. It's a prayer of importunity. Jesus prayed. He said, and he left them and went away again and prayed the third time saying the same words. So there is nothing you can repeat a prayer. Please let nobody deceive you. It's vain, the Bible said, but you can repeat prayer. I mean, if you pray no way performed against me yesterday, you cannot pray no way performed against me today. He said, <laughs> sufficient unto the day is the evil day. So every day has an evil. Matthew 6, 34. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So every day has what? The evil of yesterday is not the evil of today. So that you pray yesterday, you won't pray today. Yeah, this, yeah, the Bible. Bible says, sufficient unto the day is the evil. So every, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So every day has an evil. So you cannot use yesterday evil you cast out to say today you won't cast. Because Satan has been moving to and fro. It's not on leave. So if you cast my yesterday, you cast him out again today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Life should have a testimony. A family was pleading blood. Life should have heard it before. A family was pleading blood every night. And Amnobas constantly pass their place. And anytime they pass that house, they will see an invisible force cover it. Then only one night they did not plead the blood. Life story in Lagos. And the armed robbers got to that house and knocked the door and said, what do you do that you didn't do here? <laughs> that the thing we used to see here, we didn't see today. That night was the only night they slept without seeing the blood of Jesus cover us. So armed robbers saw the house and for the first time their eyes could see the house and see everything. Before they see the house and they were afraid of looking at the house. Because they were pleading the blood to cover. That night they slept without pleading the blood. So the owners now knew that, oh, so in the spirit realm, Satan has been seeing the blood. The only day they did not plead was the day Amrabas were able to knock their gate. Are you getting what God is saying? You don't know when you pray, you create an atmosphere. The day you don't pray, you are causing problem for yourself. A Christian who does not pray is dangerous. And this says with People don't want to pray again. If it's possible, they can even list prayer. <laughs> you know, we have fast food, fast track. People want fast prayer. Fast what? Fast prayer. That is internet prayer. <laughs> I, I told people, I said, no technology can take the place of prayer. iPad can't pray for you if you like. If you like, punch it. I know iPad can pronounce words. And that's where I pronounce, I want to know reputation. You can pronounce your software. I said, reputation, reputation. You cannot say, pray, pray. <laughs> it won't work. You will take your voice to pray. <laughs> you know, if you want to pronounce now, you say, reputation. They say, British, reputation. American, reputation. 
He can't say prayer, prayer. It will not work. You will have to use your voice to pray. No technology can take the place of prayer. You can't say iPad. Now I put you on pray. <laughs> it can't. If you like, put Bible and be recording it and be playing it to say pray. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Are you hearing me now? Pray until something. I like the example of Jacob because Jacob suits our modern time. If you look at the man Jacob, this man had, they will name Jacob his supplanter. Jacob was a cheat. His destiny was upside down. Life was upside down. He had nothing to show for it. Before that prayer, there was nothing Jacob could hold on to and say this is a tangible thing as a man. And in book of Genesis, chapter 32, if you read 24 to 28, I want to use Jacob because Jacob is a very good example. And Jacob was left alone. A time comes in your life, you don't depend on anybody. You're alone. You say, this battle, I have to face it myself. He was left alone. And he there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. That was online prayer. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he tore the whole of his thigh, and the whole of Jacob's thigh was out of joy. That means he was in pain. Do you know there's a level you pray to, you forget that you're in pain? You can kneel down and forget that you've knelt down. As he wrestled with him, and he said, let me go for the day break it. And Jacob said, I will not let you go except that bless me. My destiny must turn here. My story must change here. My life cannot remain the same. Jacob prayed his destiny and turned it. Somebody's story will change today. Yeah. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But he said, He prayed himself from an individual to a nation. He prayed himself from a supplanter to a great man. He prayed himself from a failure to a success. He said, I can't remain like this. Oh, God bless me. No. Now hear me. I knew exactly when I turned my life, 1995. I can never forget the date. Everything was upside down in my family. I can never forget the prayer I prayed. I can tell you where I prayed it, how I prayed it. It's, you know, there's a way you pray, you will never forget. That was a destiny changing prayer. I saw life was going upside down for the whole family. I said, this is not true. This is not, the, this is not God's plan for my life. I can't be going up like this. I'm coming down, going up, I'm coming down. No, this is not your plan. Oh God. I became, I prayed to a point I knew that I prayed. I said, my destiny must turn. My life must turn. My life must go forward. Every force in hell against my family, my life crushed. Everything about me from that 1995. I've never had a better yesterday. It was 1995. I bounced. You know, people go up like this, come down, and you're still watching your life. You're still waiting for men of God to pray for you. They can pray for you. It will be temporary relief. Check every change of destiny. Not somebody prayed for them. If Jacob waited for Isaac's prayer, Isaac has blessed him here. Hope you know. Isaac has already what? He, he still had limitations. Isaac has already blessed him here. You remember? This, Isaac has already poured blessing on Jacob. But he said, hey, 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 my life is not going the way it should go. You are seeing yourself walking in one place, clink, 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 hand to mouth. You are saying, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's God's purpose for my life. I mean, <laughs> Ten years, you are still scratching, you, cling, 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 and you have not gotten up one time, saying, enough is enough. I can't be at this level. No way! All sinners, come down, must be lifted. You sit like this, you, you, by the time you take seven days to pray that kind of prayer, you two are done. You move. <laughs> Next thing 
Next week, let me tell you this. Inspire the church prayers. Tell yourself that next week you will do your own personal one. That's when we close from service. You get up midnight. If it's one one hour, you give yourself. Are you guys now? If it's one hour, you give yourself. You say, as we close from service, to one to two, twelve to one, I will face my life. I must turn. You can, you, 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 you are looking at your life. One day they give you a contract of ten million. Then when you do the ten million contract is finished, you don't get another one. You are still laughing. They are supposed if they get one breakthrough until they eat that money and the whole money is finished. Not, not that breakthrough. They pay title, they give off little. You know. But some people even get to a point where they have to beg to eat before another breakthrough will come. And you are laughing. <laughs> That's the gospel verse of my life. I saw in God's Bible the word of God. He said, I shall be above only. Only. That means no option. Above, no middle ground. It is, I shall be sometimes middle, sometimes above. He said, I shall be. God said, no option, no mediocrity. No average, draw me to the 8 verse 13. You shall be above only. That I'm not giving room for average. Average is not in God's syllabus. It's an average man. Is he a good statement? That's an average man. No! You, I shall be above. Anything that is not above, I'm not taking. Hello? For four years now, nothing to show. You are still laughing. <laughs> Nigeria is hard. Who told Nigeria is hard? yourself to the top. I said, enough of this nonsense. Some of you have not suffered, so you are relaxed. If you have suffered like where I came from, you will pray. Some of you have not suffered. I don't think you have suffered. You have not suffered. Have you ever been comfortable and yet you suffer? Eh? You pray. You know, some of you are just, some, somehow you are comfortable the, somebody send you money from abroad, somebody pay your house rent, so you are relaxed. If your father is dying, your mother is dying, and you are talented, you pray. <laughs> you know, one man was trying to order a Bible from America, he said, my mother is dying, my father is dying, I'm talented. Talented in the Greek means somebody who is helpless. So he put in the past tense, he's talented, so he send me Bible. So if you are really talented, you pray. If you are really what? You pray. You are not talented in Jesus' name. But pray. If, look, make no alternative, you pray. Tell yourself, get to a point in your life where you have no alternative. I knew at a point that my father had nothing to offer. My mother had nothing to offer. So if I don't pray, where, where will I go to? My father never saw one million till he died. If he saw one million, he would have died. <laughs> I didn't come from a poor background, please don't be school. But I don't think my father saw one million like this, he would have just fainted. Till he died. My mother, so which one will you? So I knew that if I don't succeed, don't forget. No way. Is there any brother or sister who will give you? I don't think any of my relations till I, till I got money. I don't think any of my relations ever counted 10,000 and say, ah, you're my brother, take this 10,000. Not one. So nobody to fall back to. Either I succeed or we remain the same way. <laughs> if you come from that kind of background, then you stand up. Where even brother has, before you. I had blood brothers. Before you ask them, they will cry. Have you ever had brothers like that? <laughs> Have you had blood brothers who, before you open your mouth, they start crying to you? <laughs> Where you know that you have to succeed. They will, uh, you have brothers like that? Have you had brothers? They don't hate you, but just out of their nature. Before you open your mouth, ah, they've not paid also. <laughs> So you know that you don't have any help except from God. That way your prayer will turn. And come to a point where you tell yourself, either God does it or nobody else. When you get to that point, I tell you, you must make it. Your prayer life will increase because you know now that you're only say, I lift up my eyes onto the hills. From where is cometh my help? My help cometh from God that's made help for us on the earth. Lord, you are my helper. You can't leave me at this point. You are the one that blesses me. Oh God of heaven. Anything contrary to the blessing I don't want in my life. Your blessing make it an Adam's so Put your blessing upon my life. To the every sign of curse from my generation, I command you destroy by the blood of Jesus. My life must turn this hour. He said, I will not leave you until you bless me. 
I'm not going to take a no for an answer. My destiny can't remain like this. Nania Toria Kato Breketia Kata. This was told. I can't be begging from people. My business must go forward. Whatever is stagnated the business, I curse you in the name of Jesus. I decree for it is written. Whatever I do, I shall prosper. So from this, I break forth the donations. Are you hearing me, sir? God did not create any of us to be small. If you look at the sky, the stars are all shining. No one overshadows the other. Each child of God is supposed to be a star. But stars don't rise without a price. So here. Let me tell you this. You know the reason why many people don't pray until something happens? The major reason is they have alternatives. They have what? Alternatives. In Jeremiah 17, 5 to 6. It's a cause being a man that puts his trust in man. And make a flesh his arm. I will start departing from the Lord. When you begin to put your trust in other people, you won't, you won't want to go forward with God anymore. But it shall be like a heat in the desert. That's not your portion in Jesus' name. And what some say, but I've been praying. I've been really praying, but nothing happened. Know why nothing happened? Nothing seems to be happening. Because your prayer is not backed with faith. When you pray and you say nothing's happening, it means the prayer is not backed with faith. You have to inject faith into the prayers. Mark eleven twenty four, The Bible says, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you shall receive them and you shall what? Have. So inject faith into the prayer. Because without faith, prayer cannot be answered. He said, Let not him, let him ask in faith. Not in wavering. James 1, 6 to 8. For he that wavers like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything from of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So when I'm asking, I must ask in faith. He said, whatsoever thing I desire, I should really believe that I will receive it. So the reason why many cannot get what they're asking is because they don't back their prayers with faith. No faith in the prayers. Even after they pray, they come back, they say, mm, I don't think this thing works. So. No. A young man testified on Sunday. He said, he has been praying over a particular issue. Over and over over and over. And then the Holy Ghost said to him, the reason why this prayer is not answered is because no faith. And instructed him to read How Faith Works, one of the books written by this commission. He said he picked the book, How Faith Works, and read the book. After reading the book, he prayed the same prayer and immediately he got the answer. They were owing him for long and he said the more the prayer, the prayer they paid him. Why? This time he prayed in faith. The other one was just praying for praying sake. So pray your prayer and back it up with what? Faith. So I hear. And let me tell you something. Why most people pray are also not answered? It's because when they want to pray, pray of opportunity, they don't forgive. You don't know what? When you don't forgive, it will hinder your prayers. And the same Mark chapter 11, 25 to 26, and I want to close, I want to close. The Bible says, and when you stand praying, Forgive. What is it? If you have ought against any, that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespass. If you do not forgive, neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. If you want problem to happen, learn to forgive people easily. Not every small thing. Look, listen, I forgive people in advance. And what? Before you offend me, I forgive you. I forgive you. And there are people who I know, they don't like me. I know these people don't like me. I, I know it as I know my I know this person does not like me. Yet when they come to me, I help them. There are even men of God who I know that this person does not like me. He only likes my pocket. But me? <laughs> Judas never loved Jesus, but Judas loved Jesus' pocket. Ah, that was why he was stealing from his pocket. But the man Jesus, he never loved him. But his pocket, he loved it because he was able to steal that money. There are pastors I know, they don't love me. She, she. But when they come to me for assistance, I will still be giving them. I will still give them. And even if they come to me, I will give them. It doesn't move me. It doesn't make me poor. Why will you not be carrying your mother-in-law and then you want God to answer you? 
Your mother-in-law that stopped your husband for after 30 years, you are married if you are still carrying her. No. They leave her to go away. She said, okay, you won't marry my son. Have you not married him now? He said, this is my mother-in-law. Never. Bala, bala. Never. I've told women, if a mother-in-law resisted you, it's for a reason. I've shared it over and over. For those of you who are new, mother-in-laws resist their sons from marrying for a reason. You know why? Do I explain to you? Because you woman too will do it. A woman all her life is attached to a young man. He comes say, mommy. He shares love with her. He, all his life is, comes around to her. That's the only person he runs to to share love. Then all of a sudden he's saying this love I give to you I'm moving it to somebody else. The human part of the woman will react. It's natural. You mean this love you have been giving to me, somebody else will take it. She so say, I don't want that marriage. <laughs> it's not because she hates you. It's because she can't comprehend how come that the love will now be shared with somebody else. So she resists you. Which you too as a woman will do to the next one coming. It's natural. She does not hate you. Now that you have married the man, love the woman. He said, no. She said, which? And I discover it's only men's mothers who are witches. <laughs> Women mothers are never witches. But the women too will soon be mother-in-law, so you are also the next witch. <laughs> Have you ever experienced women? If your brother has a wife, the woman will call your mother a witch. So you see how it is. So watch if you have a brother, you say this girl does not respect our our mother, she insults our mother anyhow. And she even say our mother is a witch. Because you two, you are calling your husband's mother a witch. So the seed you are sowing, you are reaping it here. So forgive your mother in law. For she no know what she did when she stopped your husband. Now that she has given back to your husband who you love so much, love the, you can't love the chicken and not love, you can't love the egg and not love the chicken. That lay the egg. He said, I like to eat egg, but I hate chicken. Without she giving back to your husband, where would you have seen him? So since you love egg, also love that lays because it will hinder your prayers. I forgive people. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my greatest secrets why God answers me speedily. I forgive people. I forgive. That's what Prophet, but forgive her. It's, it's looks simple, but it's, it's, it's not like that. Too. I gave a very humbling testimony in the first service of a man, as a young man, when I went to Lagos newly, he asked me. He was the one who told me, leave your house, come and stay with me. They speak the same language to my parents. He said, come and stay with me. I stayed with him. One day I came back from, as a young man, traveled and came back. But I got a shot, you know. Change the keys. No quarrel. I was not born again, so he was born again. That is not good so that to overtreat people anyhow. If you are not born again, show them love. He said, I don't like to follow him to church. But his Christianity was not reflective. He was, he was fighting his wife every day. <laughs> so I didn't see any reason why he should be born again. There was no sign of Christianity. He, I knew him fighting his wife every week. So I didn't see any reason why he should be born again. I just said, what is it? If this is Christianity, I won't follow you. Because two of them quarrel every day. So I hated to be born again. That's why your lifestyle matters a lot. I came one day along the door. I still had these tears drop from my eyes. On that day, I turned and I went out. I was walking. I will never forget. I was walking from Ogba, coming and crying as a young man. I was trying to climb the bridge in the cage and somebody saw me. It's a long story. I wanted that. Now, but here the humbling part of the story. Twenty something years after, the same man who locked door against me as a young boy came to Port Harcourt. We've not seen for 20 something years. And came down here, and then they said, So, so person was looking for me. 
called my wife. He doesn't know my, have my number. I said, she called him. I said, that's the man I've ever to, I've told you about that I stayed with for some time before I got to this level. We talked about this all the long story. He came. I said, uh, Pastor, he has abused me. I've heard people say he abused me. Say the forget he's not called. He said, he's not, God did not call him. I heard everything. He came. He said, Sir, um, he has this problem. He has the, the wife has problem with him. It's a long story. I will say all that in public. This uh, the talk all the problems he had. But the bottom line is that week is the only last week the landlord gave to him to pack. Either I give him the money, or his schools and himself will be thrown out. <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> I would have said, thank God, though. <laughs> thank God. Me wait through at night, they come eat. <laughs> After you lock me out, now, so you two, you come into my trap. <laughs> Listen, that's not my nature. I understood, I understand by whom. The moment he said that, he said, I need about 40 million to solve all my problems. He had no car, he had nothing again. Everything about him has grounded. Nothing. He said, minimum he needs is 40 million. And he showed me the things. He had no job, no nothing. Everything down. And the only person who can help him now is David Biomir. Whom he locked up to the something years. At that time, I bent, I put my head and I said, Holy Spirit, what do I do? I heard clearly from God, go out of your way and give him 20 million. I heard Say, give him 20. Is that is what will solve his problem, not that 40 is asking for. 20 million is not convenient for me. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I'm not uh, in APC or PDP. <laughs> I went up. I didn't tell him. I just wrote the checks and came down. I put the check in his hands. He opened them. For 45 minutes, he didn't know where to start from. He said, God, God bless you. Eh? God will really bless you. Eh? Your life, God bless you. He didn't know where to pray, how to pray, which way to pray. <laughs> Don't revenge when people offend you. He said, when you pray, forgive. Do what? The secret of my lifting is I forgive people. <laughs> Such a man I would have revenged. I mean, it was easy for me to say, okay, now you too. You too. Pack now. I think he say, "He <laughs> go lock your house." Let me put it in pidgin English. You too now. May they lock you. <laughs> but I didn't do that. It was around doing five nights of glory. I didn't share a testimony because you would feel embarrassed. I took care of him when he came. I treated him like a king. I gave me a jeep to use throughout that period. I gave me a driver attached to him. I said, "Carry him anywhere." Bought him a business class ticket. As a leave to prove to it was like Joseph and his brothers. I showed him love that he, he never believed. If you want God to answer you, stop taking. I don't mean spiritual problem. Some of you don't do that. Don't, please balance Bible. Let me not. So if you don't have to, if somebody wants to deal with you spiritually, don't forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't go and say, Papa, I say, forgive. Eh, eh, eh. Physical, you forgive. Physical, you do what? Somebody says, see your big head, you forgive. Because that will not make your head to be small. <laughs> Somebody did you bad, you forgive. But spiritually, you don't forgive. Now, somebody is a witch and you don't forgive. But somebody look at you and like the way you did to me. I don't have any reason to... I did it because he has harassed me, whether I like it or not. So for harassing me, he has sowed a seed into my own life. And I heard God clearly. Because if it was only me, I won't give him 20. I heard God say, give him 20. I said, take this. This is what God... He could not open his mouth. Your, your mother-in-law did you something. If some of you, it's the only way I want to call you go and sleep. He said, uh, my head, they pain me. When your mother come, you will just go for two hours with your mother. But once your mother law come, you can't lie down. You say, I get fever. 
The fever only comes when your money only comes. <laughs> but when your mother comes, no fever, no malaria. <laughs> Some men do not forgive oh, their wives. Since their wife did them three years ago, they still put it in their heart. Oh. Do you know that men who don't forgive their wives? They put it in their diary. Diary is for events, not to record history. There are men who don't forget, say, um, last three years. This, I, I have one thing. I don't ever remember any negative past. It's something I train myself not to put a memory of anything that has happened. Two things I don't ever do. I don't remember anything I give to somebody. If I give you something, give me three years, I'll forget it. Three months, I'll forget it. I have a memory. I don't remember anything I give to somebody. Three months, I'll forget what I give to you. I'll give you somebody, somebody car. And he said, this car you gave me, I said, when? I said, I can't remember. I don't put such things in my memory. They're not if you're a giver, you will remember what you give. Do I give? How can I remember and I give you money? How will I remember? It's not necessary because I give every day. Every day, every day, every day. So why will I be able to put in my money? I give one million and I remember I give one million. I mean, that is jobless. I take my brain to do better things. Learn to forgive people. Small thing you put your heart. This is when do me a kushu and pepe. Some even plan their own wife, how they would deal with that. They would start planning. So let, me, let me enter my trap. Let me enter my trap. <laughs> That's why God will not answer your prayers. The man you are sleeping with, the woman you are sleeping with, is who you are scheming how you will deal with. Ah, bad. That plan alone is demonic. Even if the man offended you, forgive him, for he knoweth not what he did. If she offended you, forgive her, for she knoweth not what she did. She put salt too much. She was trying to Please you. She can't put excess salt. She forgot to put salt. She loved you so much that she forgot that oh, the love. Just see like that. You will laugh. Now you say, my wife, last week you cook without salt. You have come this week again. <laughs> Rise to your feet. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. May God bless you. Please pray. It's not on belief. It's not on belief. It means persistence in prayer. Prevailing in faith in prayer. Say, Lord, this thing must be done. Are you hearing me now? You are going to pray. Three prayer points. First prayer point. Is that Lord, whatever makes me weak? He said, Can't you tarry for one hour? He came and found them sleeping. Find them what? They were deep in sleep. He said, Can't you tarry for an hour? They had not the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. Without the Holy Spirit, you'll be sleeping. Peter, James, and John. Peter was determination. James, wisdom. John, love. The three, without the Holy Ghost, it won't work. Your determination is not enough. Your wisdom is not enough. Your love is not enough. You need the Holy Spirit to be awake. The three of them slept because they never had the Holy Spirit. And he said, I'll pour upon you the Spirit of Grace and supplication. There's a spirit called spirit of grace and Zachariah. Are you guys now? It's a poor 12 verse 10. A poor upon the house of David and on the inhabitants of Joseph, the spirit of grace and so on. They are going to say, Lord, pour upon me now. I empower me with the spirit of God. He said, He helpeth our infirmities. Romans 8 verse 26. Lord, Holy Spirit, empower me. Not to be weak again in prayer from today. Every form of weakness. You are going to combine three prayer points in one. Every form of weakness. I come against you with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Quicken me. That from today no more weakness in prayer. I come against whatever makes me sleep in prayer. With the blood of Jesus. Use the blood against weakness. And ask the Holy Ghost to empower you in prayer. Do you understand it now? Open your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. No more weakness in prayer. I come against every form of weakness with the blood 
of Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit, you empower me. Zero prekutale kende aro breke kuka kabra kaka sokote. Leke kuka bra 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 ke koko se kaka to breke kutale katia. Mesuse le juza. Taru seko breke tu kaka breke tulia kata. Eko breke ko si kako ke breke kutu kabra kaka se koto breke katia kata. Meruse luka kabra ko ke ke breke kusa katale. A process of lekitali kato brekete. Every form of weakness, whatever makes you to be weak, I curse you by the blood of Jesus. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I receive supernatural strength on my inner man. Holy Ghost, make me strong in the name of Jesus. Empower me with hekinda broko siya katale gediya kata. Ejuse kupreke kuta ke preke suya kata. Spirit of God, quicken me. Quicken me, la brose, kukato, breke, kukakota, ke breke, su katale. E suli kako breke, su kato, breke, tia katale, ya katala, kato, breke, siya. Jezezo, jezezo, kako breke, su kata. E breke, su, breke, tia kata. Meru sese, kukato, breke, su kate, breke, tia katale, gidiya kata. E kukato, breke, su kata. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus. He said, and Jacob prayed that God should do what? Bless him. I'm going to give you the next three minutes to pray. He said, the Lord shall perfect all. Psalm 138, verse 8. The Lord shall perfect all that consigned me. Lord, bless me. Bless me. Now listen, it is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich, not your work, not your profession. The blessing of the Lord. Proverbs 10, 22. Lord, bless me. It is the blessing of the Lord that makes rich, not the thing you do. <laughs> if God has not blessed you, forget your struggle. Lord, bless me. Jacob prayed a prayer for God to bless him and change his destiny. Lord, today, bless me. Change my life. Turn my story. Bless me now. Bless my company. Bless everything about my life. You know one area of your life you won't go to Tavin? You don't get want to Tavin? I give you three, four minutes. Look at that issue. Pray the way Elijah prayed. Pray the way Jacob prayed. Lift your voice in the name of Jesus. Salvation ministers. Bless your church, 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 salvation ministers. Bless your church in the Kikapo. Bless your church in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, bless your church.
thank you Lord in the name of Jesus Christ in John chapter 6 I'll read 53 54 and 56 Jesus said unto them very very last one except ye eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood he have no life in you so coming out today we give life we give what so if I eat I'll have one number one life take note number one do you pray for his what life number two whoso eaten my flesh and drinking my blood had eternal life and I will raise him up I don't want an ordinary life I want your kind of life in that life there cannot be weakness <laughs> there cannot be in that life there can be sickness whatever is not found in you is not permitted to be found in me and verse 56 says he that eaten my flesh and taken my blood dwelled in me and I him Lord from today let humanity divinity swallow humanity let immortality swallow mortality from this day let your nature swallow my nature that you walk like this Satan will look at you and see God are you going to sit down? Now listen. Have you ever heard who said that young man is the devil? Have you ever heard people say so? Why? They said, do you know, if you see him, you see devil. Because it, it true, some of them swallow the charm inside their system. Now you are taking Jesus into you. So when they see you, they see Christ. Whatever can happen to him cannot happen to you. Can a witch look at the forehead of Jesus? So a witch cannot look at your forehead. Can a witch go and call the body of Jesus? Whatever cannot harass him. As a, can, when others were sleeping, he was praying. True? That means after now, after the communion, when people, the areas used to sleep before you can get up to pray. He said, Lord, your nature come inside me now. I receive of your very nature. Let your divine nature swallow my human nature. Let your immortality swallow my mortality. Let everything in me become the one that is in you. Stretch out your hands. Pray it from the depth of your heart. No more Jesus. Let divinity swallow up humanity. Immortality take over mortality. Let this communion table be a communion of life. Let it be a communion of life. That whosoever takes of this flesh and blood. In Jesus' name. The last, this few minutes prayer I want to pray, please listen carefully. I was meditating before I, I asked God for a word. Jesus went into the regions of dead in Jairus' house. He's walking in his presence there, made dead to walk out. He went to the regions of dead at the tomb of Lazarus. His presence there made death to live Lazarus. So he's the one now coming inside you. He said, this is, never said this words. He said, this is my flesh. He said, this is my blood. Whosoever drinketh of this shall have my life. So if I take of this flesh and blood, it's one walking inside of me. So I decree. Everything that is dead in you, Whatever the enemy has tried to destroy, in any organ, your womb, your body, anything, as he enters your body, lives enter in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
This is life. Even if your kidneys were dead, even if your heart was dead, even if you have been given up to die medically, anywhere in the world that is written of my voice, as you partake of the flesh and blood as I'm speaking now, receive life in the name of Jesus. Even dead brains receive life in the name of Jesus. But to anyone practicing any nonsense like witchcraft and wizardry, you are not the one that will receive life. Except you want to say, Lord, let this see remove the witchcraft practice from me. It is only the but anyone that enjoys the witchcraft practice, you enjoy it. As a sign of wickedness, I decree this blood itself strike you. Let it become a blood of torment and danger and destruction to you. In the name of Jesus. You cannot suck human blood and suck his blood. His blood now destroy you in the name of Jesus. such persons you will be visited with instant judgment but in case you are someone that have held down to destroy this blood deliver you in the name of Jesus no one takes of this blood a genuine child of God that will not be delivered today dead you are destroyed Someone's HIV is turning negative. Amen. Cancer drops off. Amen. Leukemia turns off. Amen. I command sickle cell turn A. Amen. Every blood disease be made whole. Amen. All terminal diseases are terminated. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Any woman looking for the fruit of the womb, this life now puts life into your womb. Amen. No child dies in your womb. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Let the church say. If you are not born again. Remember you must give your life to Jesus wherever you are. Everyone not born again. Pray this prayer after me. Say after me Lord Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. Come into my life. I accept you. As my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Now, everyone that prayed that simple prayer, in 30 seconds, somebody will attend to you. Don't sit with others. Others will take their communion while they sit down. You keep standing. Somebody will walk up to you and attend to you. Give thanks to God and then serve the communion. There is power, working power, every time we, we get on our knees, there's awesome power, there's mighty power, every time we we call on our God, the great anointing of his presence is always
talk to God. Seal it with Amen, Amen, Amen. In the name of Jesus, seal it with Amen. Seal your prayers with Amen, Amen. Why I say I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. Sunday we're still talking about prayers, so maybe five minutes there. But uh, studio, you put it on the screen because when we see the weddings, you understand it better. Yeah, so Sunday, you sing your own song. You sing, but when I want you to sing this one, maybe before I start sharing God's word, it has, it has meaning. It has meaning. So when I pray, I'm a winner. Praise God. Please take this very important information. If you are getting a property for Satellite Church, let us know the kind of property you are getting. Don't just go and pay for it without letting us know. So it fits the kind of standard we have. You don't just go and take a place and then the place is out. Like for instance, now they paid for a place, but the person now discovered that the place cannot be used because it was too tight. This church grows like water. You can't go and take a property of 100 paid persons. No matter where you take 100 people in this church, in a township, it makes no sense. At least the hall should be able to take some few hundreds, not 100 people. You take 100 people, that means five services, 500 people. Are you saying in a township, 500 people, this church is not possible. It's not, no matter the township, you, you can't take a hall of 100 persons. So any hall you're taking, except you're taking the hall in a, one fish port where there are only 500 people. And if you're only 500 people, the other 500 people will be members. So, Amen. So whatever hall you want to take, let us know so we can get the details. Praise the Lord. There's a special discount which I use my office so that people can have access to the messages. All our old messages, every member take advantage. All our old messages, it will last for one month. After one month, they'll come back. The old price of MP3 used to be 500 but I told them that they should sell it at the cost price they produced it. Now they are selling it for 200 I told you, clap. I told them what was the cost price. They told me, I said, sell it at that price. I want literature to flood every member's house. And DVD, single discs used to be 700 Now they are selling it for 350 The double discs or whatever they call it used to be 1400 but now they will sell it for 700 
old messages. Listen, old what? No five nights of glory. Please don't go. Five nights of glory, they will sell it at a real price. I'm allowing you to have access to every message that we have taught. No message of this commission is small. Every message of this commission is power packed. If I were you, just tell them, give me all. And funny enough, do you know the whole message is you, all? It's not up to 50,000. Oh, unless if you take one, 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 So, why not invest in knowledge? So, in my library, I have over 7,000 CDs. And I put them according to faith, one place, business, one place. That's what I have. I get what I'm saying now? They also have special packs. You also buy the packs. Amen. Praise God. Sunday service will be loaded. It is enjoying continuous victory. <laughs> enjoying continuous victory. Sunday service. In the second service, we pray for outstanding success in academics for students. In the fifth service, business and career men. Are you warming up for next week? Yes. So next week, you will make sure you warm up for next week. Praise God. Next week, fast will be different from the type we have been having before. It's going to be quite different. It's not the same conventional pattern. We're taking it a different style. Each day will have a special administration. Each day we are facing something not like before. This one, day one, miracle jobs and miracle marriages. Day two, fruitfulness and pregnant women. Day three, career men and business. Do you understand? Day four, day five, youth rally. You can see now. Each day, Sunday, I'll tell you the whole details. In addition to other ones, so when we come, we face that area. And hit it where people will get breakthroughs. Amen. Invite souls to come with you on Sunday. It's going to be powerful services and Jesus will be glorified. Make sure you don't come alone. Bless somebody. You may be seated. If today's your first time, could you stand up? I want to welcome you as we close. Today's your first time of coming to Salvation Ministries. Please stand up. God bless you. God bless you. You're welcome to Salvation Ministries, the home of success. God bless you for coming. May your life never remain the same. Today that you have come, may your story change forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, ushers, take them outside. There are people to attend to them so they can feel the forms. Rise, let's close. Are you blessed today? Will you, will you win a soul? Not just invite somebody, win somebody. Go and tell the same person you asked to come before to come back with you this Sunday. Don't come alone so you can get blessed with the person. Lift your hands to heaven. May your week go well. May the strength you have received today keep you strong. Amen. Whatever was a challenge is now a testimony. Amen. Before this month is over, you will smile. Amen. Before this month is over, you will laugh. Amen. Be the second month minimum double blessings. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Remain a celebrity. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The grace together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest now by with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. God bless you. See you Sunday. See you when? Go, uh, go for evangelism on Saturday. Are you hearing me now?